had a discussion with my professor about the possibility of using smartphones as controllers for robots. You can point the mobile device at a mobile robot and command where that robot goes just by drawing a path on the screen that you'd like the robot to take or by tapping on an object that you would like the robot to retrieve and just dragging it where you would like the robot to bring it. So you can play around with what you would like to see that world become using augmented reality and it's up to the robot to now go and change the world around for you. One of the main benefits of this work is that it enables people who maybe have never seen or controlled a robot before, it enables them to interact with robots. We're using the tablets and the smartphones that people already own and it doesn't really require any training because these devices are already intuitive. You can actually use the cameras on the backs of smartphones and tablets to capture the entire scene of the robot and the state of the robot itself. Basically the cameras on the backs of the mobile device perform all of the same roles that uh, cameras that roboticists normally use what those cameras will perform. So what they'll do is they'll detect some visual feature attached to the robot to track the robot. They'll detect uh, features in the environment to help create a map of the environment for the robot. They'll um, estimate the state of the robot and, and the task that it's performing. You can also use that information about where the robot is and what direction it's facing to create the virtual um, reality graphics that you end up blending into the view on the mobile screen. Once you're using the sensing and computational power of the mobile device, then the robotic project becomes mobile as well. So what we're hoping to do is actually implement them in the field, in construction, in manufacturing, in um, healthcare and I think that's the, the big next step for this work.